everybody, uh, Locke here. Happy New Year. Thanks for sticking around. Kick this one off, uh, this year off, with a video um, from my friend Aaron who wanted to uh, know some good PSP games and I thought I would give him a list of stuff I think he should play. The best PSP games ever. Uh, first, uh, first game I think he should try is called Crush. Crush is a really good puzzle uh, sort of platform game where you play um, as a guy trapped in dreams and solving these block puzzles but regardless it's a really cool game where it um, changes in order to solve the puzzle you have to change the perspective of the camera um, from a top-down view to more of a, a side-scrolling 2d view and it's it's really cool they got some cool stuff going on with crush so check that out um, the other one I think, the next one I think you should check out is the Metal Slug Anthology. It is uh, a bullet hell game, a run and gun shooter, Neo Geo classic where you just shoot the hell out of everything on screen, power ups, and, and it's awesome. And the nice thing about the PSP version is that you get power ups and infinite continues, so it's super enjoyable, you're not feeding quarters into an arcade machine, which is kind of what that game was designed for. Just over the top bosses and characters and humor. Um, and you get six different games in there. It's a really good collection, nice tight package, and it's, uh, it's, it's a really good, really good game, or games plural, um, to check out if you, uh, yeah, want to shoot some stuff. Power Ups, and next up is Valkyria. Chronicles 2, a great, great um, portable version of Valkyria Chronicles. A turn-based strategy, kind of with a twist where when you control your character, um, it goes into a more of a real-time uh, setting, a real-time um, strategy game where uh, the guys will be firing at you. It's awesome. Great strategy RPG. Fourth game, Dissidia, Final Fantasy fighting game. And I know that sounds weird, but it takes characters from... What do you want? Um, Final Fantasy 1 to Final Fantasy 10 and you can play as the villains and the heroes and it's actually a really good fighting game. Each character has different spells and skills that you can use and they all have very different play styles so a 3D fighter on the PSP doesn't really make sense but it is a solid, solid game. Uh, and the last one I think you check out is uh, Half Minute Hero. That game is the perfect portable game. Um, you're playing missions that take a couple minutes doing quests and if you're sitting down to play this on a bus or on the toilet or wherever in line um, just perfect bite-sized chunks and that's why I really like it. Some great humor in there, a couple different uh, game modes in it is an RPG where it takes it and uh, condenses it down then it's got some tower defense stuff, some actually shooter stuff, it's, it's a great um, variety pack, but the strongest point definitely being the power-ups and the RPG portion where you play as the hero. Like, check it out. So those are the five games I think you should check out. The best PSP games ever. Um, I may do one more follow-up video with the RPGs on the PSP that I think you should check out because it, uh, those are a category in itself. I did have five RPGs that I think you should check out. Um, uh, that are very similar to another game you're playing, which is Persona. So, um, there you have it. Those are the five PSP games that I think uh, are worth um, checking out. So, go ahead, try those out. See uh, what you think. If you have any suggestions for Aaron, put them in the comments below. Um, again, going to be doing a, a lot more videos, uh, try and get some stuff out to you guys on a regular basis. Um, so, let me know any ideas, suggestions, what you want to see, and... Uh, yeah, there you have it. Anyways, signing out for now, and we'll talk to you later this week.